Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're gonna take a look at this solar panel light. It's not a light. Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're gonna take a look at this solar charger. Let's do this real quick. Now, as far as your basic bare bones solar chargers go, this is it. It's three solar panels, and they're fairly big. You have little attachment points in case you wanted to attach it to your backpack or something like that. But that's about it. It's three solar panels that will charge your device directly. There's no battery in this thing or anything like that, so it's not holding a charge. So keep that in mind, and you definitely want to make sure it's going to work with your device that you're trying to charge, especially a smartphone. I couldn't get it to work with my smartphone. One of my older smartphones, I got it to work with. So you got to keep that into consideration. Take that into consideration. So, I mean, it is what it is. It'll do its job. It's not going to do it extremely fast, especially on an overcast day. It's going to take a little longer, maybe two to three times longer than an, on a sunny day. And I think the output is maybe, I don't know, 10 watts per each one, 20 total, but not really 20 total because you only get 10 out of each one. That's about it. So, I don't know. If you want a basic bare bones solar charger, here it is. It, it works, it's got a nice construction, it's put together pretty well. But for me, I'd like to see a couple more benefits in the solar charger. I'd like to see some sort of battery backup in here so that I can just let this charge and charge up a battery bank. So when there's no sun, I can still charge up my devices. Now you can accomplish that just by, well, having your own battery backup charger in here. So the solar panel is charging this up and then you're good to go. And then you can use this to charge up your phone or whatever. The other thing I'd like to see, and they might have it, they might have an aftermarket, but some way to charge up my camera batteries, especially when I'm on the go out in the woods or something like that. I mean, it comes with a camera battery charger that you gotta plug into the wall. That's no good with this. Now some of them, like I said, some of the aftermarket ones and even maybe the ones for the OME camera batteries might have it so that you can power it through USB. That would be great. I'm gonna have to look into that. But ultimately, what I'm saying is I'd like to have this built in you know, maybe two or three batteries built in like this so that they actually stay where they're supposed to stay. I could still throw my phone in here, still charge that off the sun, and when I need to go, I, don't, I could leave this back at my little camp or whatever. I could have this sitting out and I could be charging off of this, charging another one here, charge. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? I want this to be portable, but I want this to charge the portability of this. And I want to be able to charge my camera battery. So it's a work in progress. I'm, I'm, I would have to research to see if there even, if even is a system like that where it can do everything that I want so I don't have to keep buying additional things and making it work. So I think I've done enough rambling for today. This is your basic solar charger. It definitely works better than those little tiny ones that are about the size of a cell phone. Those don't work for anything, not for solar charging. They're good for just you know, being a battery backup. And the one I have is good for just being light. In fact, let me go grab it. Give me one second. Now, as far as solar charger goes, this little pocket solar charger is pretty much worthless as a solar charger. As a battery bank, it's pretty good, but I, I find this to be a little bit better, a little bit faster. But this has the added benefit of a light, and it's a pretty decent light. I've used it for some of my videos to light up some really dark spaces. So, I mean, take your pick what you want with some of this stuff. I'd like to see this minus the solar charger built into here so that you can remove this. And I'd like to see that the three panels or four panels, whatever you have, charges this up pretty rapidly and maybe even have an extra one in here too. Or you know what I mean? So you have enough room in here where it like, you could still fit your smartphone in here. You have the added benefit of having a battery backup so that if it becomes a cloudy day or if you didn't charge it up charge it up enough throughout the day you can charge stuff up at night i mean come on if you're camping or something you're gonna be without your cell phone for a while not that you can have service anyways but just the same you use it for your camera and just the same for the camera batteries if that battery dies on me when i'm out in the woods and i've got no way to charge it i'm kind of sol so for me this isn't the perfect system but for somebody that wants a basic system, this might work depending on what you have. So hopefully this video wasn't too confusing and it gave you some insights on what you might need in your search for the perfect solar charging system. That's pretty much what I mean. I'm done rambling for today. I think we've done enough and I think we're pretty much done for today. 
So I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully without this goofy haircut. Watch my other videos and you'll have an explanation why. I'm gonna go cut my hair again.